Hello, everybody. This episode of The Horror Show is brought to you by Angela M. and Ryan Marlowe. Thank you guys so much. They donated over at patreon.com slash I hate horror. A few things before this episode starts. Survey.ihatehorror.com. Seven question survey. If you can help us out and fill that out, it really means a lot. Um, it's going to help us get advertisers. Um, so that, that, uh, that'll really, really help us. So we would appreciate it if you could do that. Um, and that's survey.ihatehorror.com. Store.ihatehorror.com. The shirts are up. The packages are up. All of it's going to help uh, Baby Boog. If you missed out on the Mangler hats, they're part of um, like a t-shirt combo set with pins um and they might be a little bit more expensive but i threw on like a couple extra bucks just to help uh, joe out so if you miss if you missed out on the hats the pins and the shirt go on over there store.ihatehorror.com pick one of those up um and uh yeah help out a uh, baby boog and of course salem horror.com uh we're doing a live show october 14th it's a saturday uh one hour podcast prior to the event uh, then we're screening Halloween 3 and Videodrome all for 20 bucks. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. And if you bought tickets just to the movies, you come to the you get to go to the uh, podcast for free. So we'll see you out there. Um, I think that's it. This episode is really fun. I was not expecting this movie at all when we got the recommendation. It is Contamination from 1980. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy this episode, guys. Thank you all so much. Everybody and welcome to the horror show. Show it dissects, mutilates, dismembers, and butchers all of your favorite and not so favorite horror movies and other horror related events. I'm Sean. I'm Joe. No Paul. <laughs> no other guests. I, breath of fresh air, if you will. Although I guess to our fans, they've already had a breath of fresh air. Oh yeah. But to us, it was second. So not that anyone knows or gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this week is Contamination, a movie I was not excited for. So let's be, I'm going to be honest. I'm being honest. I'm being truthful. I was like, what the fuck is this going to be? Did you change your mind? Oh, yeah. Really? Well, yes and no. <laughs> the first five minutes, I was like, this is the greatest movie I think I, I might have seen. totally agree. Yeah. It starts then, off hot. It starts off real hot, and then <laughs> it turns into something else. But it's still, uh, I just have a soft spot for Italian movies. They're I just so do. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Even the bad ones, though. Like, there's just some charm to them. Like, they're poor English and, like... <laughs> no, I totally agree. Like, in this movie, I mean, we'll get to it, but, like, the fact that they, like, used egg and seed interchangeably... Like as as words, and then like ultimately, I still don't know if they were eggs or seeds because like they grew on plants, <laughs> but then they hatched things. <laughs> so someone's gonna be real mad at you for not knowing the difference. Uh, yeah, I know. Or, or if it was a automaton or a, a, automaton. Oh God, I'm in trouble. I'm in so trouble. It. I'm in so much trouble. Um, this was a pick by Michael M. He had also picked um, Pont- Pontypool. We were gonna do, but didn't. And he also picked uh, Kurosawa film, but it wasn't the Kurosawa we were thinking of. Did you see that tweet? I don't even know what movie it was, but yes, it was Pulse. But he was like, oh. "It's not Akira." Yeah, it was somebody else. Dude, that guy's gonna be super pissed. There's like three things we didn't know. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> um, he's fucking serious. Oh my god, that's the guy that does donuts in the fucking middle of the street. I saw the tire. Oh, yeah, him. I 
just grab that wrench and fucking club them. Oh, fuck. I should have put on that. Oh, my God. Dude, that would be crazy because there would be no way he could find us. Like, he would have... Like, if we... Ah, oh, fuck. That would have been so bad, but so awesome. Like, he would have... Like, the fucking place is dark. Yeah. <laughs> I would just lock that door. <laughs> Go in the back. Yeah. <laughs> just throw the wrench. <laughs> All right, where the fuck were we? Fucking asshole. I think we we're complaining about nerds. Oh yeah, fuck nerds. Um. Uh oh. So this is uh, directed by the guy that directed that uh, Lou Ferrigno Hercules. Is it? Yeah. He didn't really do much else though. Wait, Lou Ferrigno did Hercules? Yeah, in like the 70s. I yeah. knew Arnold did. Bad. No, it's not the Arnold one. This is Lou Ferrigno. No, no, I got that. I was just saying. I know. <laughs> it's bad in Italian. Um, this is the Italian West film. Did we say the name is Contamination? Yeah. Did we say it? Okay. Um, this was a video nasty when it was released. Do you agree with that? No. <laughs> well, I mean, the explosion. Honestly, the people that do that probably made it through the first 10 minutes and were like, this is disgusting, and just put it on the list. Because the, that I can understand. But yeah, if yeah. they made through the rest... If they, and realized it was just a spy thriller about eggs. About singing eggs. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, Huge alien ripoff. I'm surprised it's not called like Alien 4 in Italian. Um, it actually did have a name like that. It was like no. Alien the Brood. Um, no. it, wa- it wasn't like a single. It wasn't like, it was like called like. Oh, no, a- it's Alien Contamination. Yes, Alien Contamination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, which like aliens aren't even like really a part of it. No, it's just a big egg. It, it looks more like the Cronenberg fly egg than anything. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to talk about the end of this movie, actually. Not really the, so much. Well, the beginning's good. No, the beginning's the, great. The middle is nothing. Literally nothing. What, literally. <laughs> when, when the beginning started, though, I was like, this is a perfect like background Halloween party movie. Yes. Which I feel the same about our next movie, too. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, I, you could just throw that on. Yeah. It's too bad. Like, if you could just edit. <laughs> How long is this movie? Uh, it was too long. It's like an hour and a half, right? Yeah. <laughs> if, you just edit, if you can edit like 60 minutes out of it, it'd be perfect. <laughs> really? If you just did like, um, uh, what do they call it? Like a super cut. Super cut. Yeah. This, this is a deserving super cut of, yeah. of eggs. Agreed. So. No dialogue. No dialogue. Oh, no. Because, <laughs> because, because, the- because the first dialogue, people are wearing masks. <laughs> and you can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's something. Uh, <laughs> so let's, let's just get into it here. Um, we, uh, so we start with this helicopter over flying over Manhattan, which I was happy to see music by the goblin, the goblin, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was like, I thought I was going crazy. And then I was like, Oh my God. Imagine if the Italian band goblin got Italian movied. And there was another Italian band called The Goblin and just recorded very similar music and just took their name. But no, but it's it is them. them. It's, it's them. them. They just called them The Goblin, which is was a weird choice. I love it. In the new season of uh, Twin Peaks, the Nine Inch Nails make an appearance and the guy announces them as The Nine Inch Nails. Are you Emphasizes serious? the The. That's so fucking weird. That's so weird. It's like a Canadian thing, too. Like Bret Hart would always say The WrestleMania. Like, I can't wait to wrestle at the WrestleMania. <laughs> it's like, what the f- It's just called WrestleMania, man. <laughs> Drop the the. There's no the. the. Ohio State. The, oh, the Miami, or the U, oh no. Oh, it's Ohio. Or is it's, it? It's Ohio State, yeah. Is it? The. Yeah. The Ohio State. It's stupid. It pisses me off every time. <laughs> every time. Actually, basically every school is, except for the guys that are like, Albany Christian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, oh, wow. How the fuck do you make it here? Um, so we're flying over Manhattan. Helicopter guy. This movie and actually the next one, too, I have so many characters that you think are going to be characters and then are just like, I'm just here to <laughs> to bring in somebody else. <laughs> like these helicopter guys, like you seem like you, you I got a feeling like I was like, oh, these are going to be our guys right here. And they are not. They're not. They're just they're in this scene. Um <laughs> Long shot of the Twin Towers, which bummed me out. 
Yeah, oh, but it's always nice to see him. It is nice to see him, but it's it like bum, it, it it bumps me out. Um, they're chasing this boat in the helicopter. I don't know what the fuck these guys do, but they're just like boat watchers. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, um, they see this boat and they're saying it's coming in like really fast. Um, and from the helicopter, this guy's already determined like there's no crew on board. He's like, oh my god, the boat's empty. Uh, like I don't know what happened to the crew, but they had to get out of there. There's so many. Um, and I think it's just a language thing. I think that's strictly what it was for this because it's just so many like jump to conclusions that they it's it, it's written like as if they're trying to be smooth and it comes off so crazy. Like this guy being like, oh, my God, whatever happened to the crew? It was sudden. How do you know anything like they could be like the first thing I would think is like, why are they all inside? Right. <laughs> why is there no one on the deck? Not like whatever happened to them. I wouldn't it even was, think that. No, it was this quick ship. and definitely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy's like already to jump to that conclusion. And that is the whole movie. Everyone in this movie is like, hey, you know what? You know what I just thought of? I think. And then they explain exactly what's happening. And you're like, how would you ever come to that conclusion? Uh, and I think it's just like a language barrier, like the Italian and West German uh, language barrier there. Um, so music by the goblin. Um Oh, they immediately are like, put the boat in quarantine. Yeah. Because they don't see anyone on the fucking boat, which is uh, crazy. Um, they bring it into quarantine. Health department shows up to investigate the ship. And we jump like, we get, you feel like you're like, oh my God, we're getting right into the shit of this. Because they get on the boat. Yeah, it's carrying large containers of coffee. <laughs> which honestly... As it went on, I was just like, dude, there's one scene where they say coffee like five dozen times in like five minutes. And it was like infuriating. So this week we're doing Contamination. Next week we're doing Plan 9. Both of these movies, the, I've never heard dialogue where they use like <laughs> they use the same word in the sentence. It's like that thing was the thing that I thought was the thing. I'm like, what? <laughs> and one, one is written by a man from another country. The other is written by a man. Very much from America. They can speak English. <laughs> but you're right. And I noticed that too. I picked up on that too. Both of them had these like weird moments where like not even just one character saying it over and over, like a conversation yeah. between two characters Using where they the just keep word. saying the same <laughs> word a hundred times. So unnatural. Dude, there's this like there's a scene in this where she's like, you know, the coffee in this coffee ship is really coffee tasting. And you're like, what? Are you fucking serious right now? Um but the health department shows up. There's not a soul on the ship, um, which we know because the man flying 800 feet above it told us that. Um, they find a logbook, though. They look at the captain's logbook. It was updated last night. So they're very, very wary of what the hell happened. Yeah. And basically for the next few minutes, it's just a guy walking around. It's very Thing-esque. Very Thing-esque. But Thing came out two years later. So, so suck on that, the Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real genius you carpenter? <laughs> you fucking hack. <laughs> uh, and these guys just walk around for a couple minutes just being like, what the hell happened? What the hell happened here? What the hell happened? Um, before, they find a man in the captain suit, fucking torn up. Yes. Torn to shreds. Hiding in a closet for some reason. <laughs> which, we'll never find that out. No. Because there's no reason to hide, because as we learn, these things don't move. And, <laughs> and uh, the, force, the first corpse, the makeup, pretty damn good. Yes. Yes. The also, the jump scares. Jump scares are good. Um, the makeup slowly deteriorates, I found, in this movie. It starts out- I probably like, filmed it chronologically and just blew their load <laughs> in the first scene. It's really good. And then later on, like the special effects, like at the end, one of the last- guys that we'll see explode as we'll find out one of the last guys like he's got like a backpack on the front of his belly like it's like he's wearing clothes and there's just like this giant lump that's clearly oh, yeah, the yeah. exploding contraption yeah but in the beginning they all looked like really, really i mean f for this movie i wasn't expecting the corpse to look anyone decent yeah no um i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting anything about this like in this moment i was like oh my god and I think it was here when I was like, I got your text being like, this is the best movie ever. Yeah. And um, then I got to a point where I was like, I 
I don't think Joe had finished it. <laughs> you know how many times I I've done that to you? I, yeah. Like I've, I've I'll, done I'll, it too. Though, like so. it'll happen like ten minutes into the movie. I'm like, this is fucking awesome, and I'll text you. I'm like, did you watch this yet? And it'll be like, no, nah, I'm starting it later. I'm like, this movie is the best one we've done for the show. <laughs> and like immediately after, I'm like, why did I hit send? Like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> It happens to me all the time. I'll I'll do that too. I'll be like, man, this is really fucking amazing. And then I'll be like, I'm only halfway through. And then at the end, I'm like, oh man, yikes, that's that's a fucking problem. Um, also, did you see these guys' flashlights that are walking around this shit, dude? They're like the biggest. Like <laughs> they had flashlights in this. What was this made? Eighty. Yeah, of course it should. Of course they had flashlights. Yeah, they had the biggest fucking things, and there was like wire. They were all connected. It was like one of the craziest contraptions I've ever seen. <laughs> Just buy a fucking mag light. Christ. Um, so you don't know about automatonic flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> he can't think of the word for whatever the fuck <laughs> wired flashlights. Um, <laughs> the, the, uh, the doctor sees this mangled corpse zone. It's like, look at the way the skin and clothes are turned off. It's like he exploded from the inside. Again, another like, how would you, why would you ever think that? <laughs> why would you ever think Did somebody- these guys jump to more conclusions than the cops from Fibes? Oh, yes. You think so? Yeah. Oh. I don't know, dude. Joe, there is a point. Dude. If in, you saw an empty ship, you might be like, all those people are dead. If you if, if you saw like a frog mask, you wouldn't be like, hey, there's a serial killer. He's reenacting all 10 plagues of Egypt, which is what those cops did. <laughs> hey, there's a Jewish symbol on his mask. Maybe on this necklace, <laughs> maybe he's reenacting the plagues. Fibes <laughs> uh, is great. I'm like starting to love Fibes. Same. You know? Like Same. the more after that episode, like, um, which is not, not anything new for the show, I guess. This is the scene where they say coffee so much. Hey, that's not coffee. And then, oh, and then they find these. So then they see these eggs. Yep. They're like, hey, that's not coffee. And of course it's not coffee. They're giant <laughs> fucking eggs. <laughs> clearly eggs. Clearly alien eggs. And one guy go, one guy starts listing off every every fucking thing it could possibly be that it's not. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, it could be like an avocado <laughs> or a mango or a squash. Dude, he lists like <laughs> six items that it could be. And you're like, it's none of those. <laughs> Obviously, if you can't name it distinctively, <laughs> you it's, it's alien. Just yeah. Fucking burn it. Um, <laughs> One guy's like, you think these other boxes of coffee aren't coffee? <laughs> that was one of the lines. We said it twice in a sentence. It's so dumb. I, like, uh, you just know that's a language barrier at that point. Like, what? But isn't Ian McCulloch? Because well, he does but, it too. Yeah, I guess. But like, the director Why is Ian McCulloch in so many shitty fight movies? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have a question about that in our next movie too. Um, because um, the guy that played... The hero in Plan Nine. What the fuck is his name? Um, uh, George, uh, Greg Walkett. Yep, he plays the pilot. He plays yes, the pilot. He um, well, he went on to be in like movies. He, he, was, he was in, in an Oscar nominated movie. Yes, he was in a bunch of stuff. Um, he was in Any Which Way But Loose. Yep, which you might know. I think he was listed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um. He he was in a bunch of stuff, but he was like he's like his claim is he read the script and hated it, and refused to do it, but then did it anyway. It's like, okay, like you can't you can't shit on it if you refuse to do it. Like if you were like this sucks, and you're like eh, whatever, yeah, then just own it. Right, <laughs> you can't be. Like, I I agree. Like Ian McCullough, like same thing. Like <laughs> just live with it. But does he complain about it? There's no way he complains about it. No, he, dude, look at his career. <laughs> I don't think he does. I, I was reading his career and I... It, the facts about contamination were, were minimal. Well... Okay. There was no, there was no <laughs> facts. The facts about Plan 9 from Outer Space are endless. endless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like still discovering <laughs> shit about it. It's crazy. Um, so they find these eggs. Um, they're singing. The egg singless. Um, it's not like exactly like the Gremlin song, not like Gizmo something. <laughs> 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 
but it's pretty close. It's just like, uh, and it, and it's so obnoxious and they're like talking about them becoming ripe. Yes. So this is where they like, <laughs> this is where they start blurring the lines of like, is it a, <laughs> is it a, is it a vegetable or an egg? And, um, it's never becomes clear. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure. Um, one guy picks it up, even though everyone's like, don't do it. And he's just like, oh, just hang on. I'll just hold it. And it obliterates his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> explodes in his face. And then he explodes. Yes. He dead. And again, a pretty cool scene. Very cool. Because it's just like, it's it, yeah, it's like it's reminiscent of like the thing, right? Like where it's just like, it's so quick. Like it's just like. Like, you kind of have an idea what's happening, but then, like, that just confirms it, and it's just so gruesome, and you're like, holy shit, like, this could be amazing. Like, is everyone going to explode? Right. Which they should have. They should have, and they don't. No. (laughs) But that's because everyone figures everything out in, like, three and a half seconds. So this is still, like, the first, what, seven minutes? Yeah. (laughs) And it's exciting. Like, honestly, these first seven minutes are worth looking for and finding and watching. I agree completely. And then it just screeches to (laughs) all. Just a lot of talking. By the way, one of the conclusions that is made in this movie is one guy being like, hey, that guy looks like a cop. <laughs> and he is a cop. Yeah. <laughs> but the man is in plain clothes. Like, he looks like a man. <laughs> it's a, f- a photograph. <laughs> and he's like, that man looks like a pl- yeah, that looks like a cop. Okay. Um, so we go, we cut back to New York City. We have um, this lady... In a, like a science laboratory, we find out she works for the government. She works directly under the president. Yes. Do you have her name? Uh, uh, Stella. Stella. Yeah. Stella. Because because, because isn't uh, Ian McCulloch in like quarantine bay? Yeah. He's like I'm a commander, and she's like, Yeah, well, I'm a colonel. <laughs> I don't even know if those outrank each other. I don't, <laughs> but he was like, Okay. He was like, oh, What? <laughs> He can't see her. It's it's invisible. It's a mirrored glass. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, wait, maybe he can see him. I think he can see. Oh, he they, he just he knows they can't hear him because they like have him muted. And then he's like, "Wait, you can hear me?" Because she starts talking. She one hundred percent can hear him. Yeah, they can hear him. He can't hear them. But he answers her because she's like, "Well, because she unmutes it." And that's why he's like, he's like, oh my, he's like, you can hear me. It's so that's way more complicated than it needs to be. It should have just been mirrored glass. <laughs> why couldn't he just be in glass? Why couldn't he not have been in quarantine? Because oh, I well, he, well, was, he, there. Had he to, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this guy, this cop, this police officer, I don't even know his name. Um, he's in quarantine because he was there. His name's Ian. Ian? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about Ian McCulloch, right? The police officer. Oh. Um, uh, that she kisses. The, and I the, thought Ian McCulloch was the uh, he, astronaut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The police officer is Tony. Tony. Lieutenant yes, Tony. The Lieutenant yeah. Tony. What's, what's a New York City cop name? Tony. That's very New York City. <laughs> um, Fucking Fugazi. <laughs> Why did he talk like that? Uh, it's so weird. Um, so... Right after, like, their conversation, the two of them. In so the he's past. in quarantine. Yeah. And she's basically like, I'll let you out if you help me with it. But he, like. But he then like, they, they go back to the eggs. Yeah. He crowsbars himself into it, the, the investigation. Yeah. Like, he's like, well, you need a cop. And she's like, well, I don't, but sure. <laughs> right. This is the most one of the most misogynistic movies. Excuse me. I've ever seen. I mean, it's Italian, so. <laughs> it makes sense. I'll do they just hit women in their movies constantly? And it happens in this too. Yeah. And not only does he hit a woman in this, but the woman's like, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy. It was one of the craziest things. Um But um <clears throat> after that whole interaction, they go back to the eggs and there's of course some like scientists looking at them. Yeah. And he immediately figures out that heat makes them Oh explode. so fast. But I don't know how he figures that out. So he's not lighting on fire or anything. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It, it, that's one of the craziest things ever. The, they're like so far ahead. So the guy's like, yeah, heat makes them explode. And then the woman's like, we need to figure out who brought these in. And then the cop is like, oh, I already know. Because now the cop's just falling around like a puppy dog, <laughs> even though he's not like <laughs> employed by the federal government. 
by any means. He's just working with her. And he's like, oh, I already know who brought him in. It's an importing exporting company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vandalay Industries? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then the woman goes, uh, Stella is like, oh, no. Call it a hunch, but I think they're going to put these in the sewers and explode. <laughs> yes, she does. And before that, she's like, wait, these came from Mars. <laughs> you remember that? She, yeah, she's like, yeah. nonchalantly drop that. She was yeah. like, there was just a recent mission to Mars, and this is where they came from. Yeah, I, I'm almost positive this is where they came from. And, <laughs> and they're going to put them in the sewers and explode them in the sewers. I was like, how the fuck would you ever derive that from this? Like, there is no – like, listen, I know me and Joe will say things and people will be like, hey, like, they actually do explain that. They 100% would have never dropped any inclination that these would have been put in a sewer. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> or that they were from outer space. I mean, other than this, the fact that they're clearly alien eggs. But, like, she knew exactly what – she was like, hey, remember that trip to Mars? I think they brought these eggs back. <laughs> Listen, and she does this right now. And then me and Sean keep saying how, like, there's just a bunch of talking. You would think from this point <laughs> this she, would just, the case. she would just team up with the astronaut and they would, like, figure out a way to get him out of here. But no, he, like, goes home and becomes a drunk for some reason. And, like, later on, she's like, hey, remember that, like, case that we just like, had you in quarantine for? And he's like, well, I don't want anything no, to do they're with different. This. Those are different guys. No, I thought it was Ian. No, they're two different guys. What? The guy in quarantine's the cop, Tony. You sure? Yes. Well, fuck me. They quarantined Tony because he was on the on boat. On the boat. Okay. okay. He was on the boat with the doctor. That's right. That's right. That's and he was like having like a heart attack. And and the astronaut, <laughs> they like they like blacklisted from like the government. Yes. Because they were like, he's fucking nutty. He went to Mars and he came back, even though everyone else is dead, supposedly. Yes. From the then trip. Then he became a drunk. Then he became a drunk. Yes. And okay. She, my bad. I thought that was the same for a second. And to lure him back in, she goes over and is like, you stupid, worthless drunk. <laughs> 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 now I believe you, you stupid, drunk piece of shit. She, <laughs> she, she is so funny. Everyone in this movie is so abrasive to each other. <laughs> no, no one is nice. It's like such a weird... It's so weird. The dynamic is so weird when you have somebody writing a script that doesn't speak English. It's just very interesting. It's so different. It's so different. You've seen Troll too, right? Yeah. That's exactly the case. Yeah. You see have you seen the documentary on? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Well they're like that guy literally could not speak English. And we all just had to like sit there and guess what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> um and that's like it's so abrasive to each other. Like this woman goes over to this oof, oof. So again, the woman figures out these things are from Mars. Yes. Uh, they put like a, a white lab rat. <laughs> oh in, yeah, they start like testing the eggs, and these rats explode. You know, they were the, they're blowing up rats. <laughs> they were blowing up rats like for fun. Like a woman walks in, and is like, "Oh, so you're blowing up rats?" I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah all right." <laughs> and and they were really blowing up rats, like in real life. Yeah, like they were Italian. Of course, they <laughs> yeah. were killing animals. It's a thing. Uh, killing animals and hitting women. It's their thing and killing their cast members. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it, it, it's I, honestly, though, I didn't really hate this movie. Like I didn't like as boring as it was in the middle. I didn't even mind it because it wasn't like it wasn't bad in the middle. It was just like I could not pay attention. I was just like, why are they? Why? I don't need to. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like I just. I was just like, okay, like I was just hoping, I was just so excited from the beginning, I think I was waiting for more, and you don't really get more until the end. <laughs> Do you even get more at the end? No. You get something. You get eggs on trees. <laughs> you get Cyclops. You get a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, she shows, um, again, like she immediately figures out these are from Mars, and people were collecting these seeds, which she calls them seeds at this point. So she goes to meet with uh, Captain Hubbard, the, the astronaut, um, who's clearly dealing with some shit. Because, like, to make him be a drunk, they just put, like, two empty beer cans in his thing and just made him laying there. Like, a fucking <laughs> slob kebab. Um, <laughs> he's just laying there. Um, and the woman comes over and she starts asking him questions. And, like, she's just like, like, how you doing type stuff. And he's like, what is it you want to know? How many times a week I screw? Oh, and then she's like. You couldn't get it up if you used a crane. 
<laughs> so fucking terrible to each other. <laughs> and then that's basically when she's like, You're, it was the most unprofessional conversation I've ever heard between like government officials. <laughs> and then she's like, you're just a piece of shit drunk. You don't know. Yeah. And then he's like, all right, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> instead of like filing a restraining order. Yeah. Instead of being like, uh, you fucking made me lose my job and I've been a drunk for like three years because of you. Um, she, of course, sh- shows the astronaut pictures of the eggs. Wait, the gunfight happens next, right? Or was that right before? Um, no, they haven't done it yet. Okay. It's yeah. coming up. Because it's <laughs> insane. I, I don't even understand what's happening. <laughs> so she shows the astronaut a picture, triggers these flashbacks to Mars. Uh, really nothing happens. He sees a bright light on Mars and reveals that they have been collecting eggs, just like she... Just like she... <laughs> She's no randomly no figured out. Um, it's so weird. Um, and she's talking about like getting that. She's like, listen, if you do this mission with us, if you help us, I'll get you reinstated in the military. And uh, and he's like, uh, I don't know. She's like, well, doesn't that fix everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lady, that fix you ruining my career. Like she openly is like, listen. I know we ran you out of town. I know we called you insane. I know we <laughs> gave you a dishonorable discharge. <laughs> we ruined your life. But listen, we'll bring you back. We'll give you a job <laughs> if you help us. Like, what a piece of shit. Um, then she calls him half a man. And that this is the scene where he just fucking, he pops her in the fucking face. Like, straight up hits her. And he's like, <laughs> that just so we understand one another. <laughs> It's so terrible, dude. It's so insane. It's so insane. That's just so we know. That's just so we understand one another. It's so crazy to watch. And then she's like, then she like she like she turned her head, like so you can't see her face. You just see the side of her face after he struck her. Yeah. <laughs> and then she turns around with the biggest shit eating grin, and she's like, "We understand each other." <laughs> Now, how about a little trip to uh, Central America? (laughs) Like, they're totally cool. Like, she's like, yeah, we're on the same page now. Thank you for slapping some sense into me. It's unbelievable. Dude, it's so crazy. And, like, no American on the set is like, hey, it's not really a thing here. (laughs) I guess you do that over there. It's crazy. But uh, it's frowned upon. (laughs) It's 1980, man. Like, you can't fucking hit women. Like, what are you, insane? Um, I don't know. Urban Cowboy came out in 1980, and I'm pretty sure that's the entire plot of the movie. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but that was like, is that about prostitutes? No. It was some asshole riding a mechanical bull. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Oh, it sucks. (laughs) Piece of shit of a movie. Is Rhinestone Cowboy about prostitutes? Maybe. That's Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. I thought he just wore a shitty coat. <laughs> That's, probably more like <laughs> That's the plot. Oh, move on, Stone Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> just getting thrown out of bars. <laughs> like he's walking in and saying that. My life's so hard because I wear white rhinestones. <laughs> Cowboys don't like it. <laughs> that is kind of the plot of like Urban Cowboy, isn't it? Like he can't ride the mechanical bull well, so people are like. No, uh, no, that's not the plot. It's just, I don't know what the plot is. <laughs> Can we talk about how your wife is making you watch every movie from 1980? She is, yeah. <laughs> and that's why you watched that. This one was crossed off the list. <laughs> Did she watch it? Yeah. And was she like, can we stop watching 1980 movies? <laughs> no. <laughs> how many movies were made in 1980? Uh, way too many. Yeah, it's like everyone. I'm not even like a third of the way down. <laughs> Are you going to do 1981 after? Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. You're going to do everything? Are you going to do all the 80s? Yeah, because that she found that podcast. Oh, no. 80s all over. And they just finished 1981. There's no way they're watching all They are, dude. <laughs> I think that's their job, though. <laughs> like, I have to work a nine to five <laughs> and, and do this home. show <laughs> and then go and watch 1980s movies. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, so yeah, so uh, they go down to South America. <laughs> Around Stone Cowboy. That's all I want to talk about now. <laughs> what, so what, a great, what a great idea for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's his plate. 
<laughs> yeah, like he's like, it's so tough to be. But you could just wear a different suit. Yeah, yeah, just but he's the... just too charismatic. <laughs> he doesn't want to give up the rhinestone suit. It's just not him. It's just not him. That can't be the plot, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's, I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> well, fuck. I know. <laughs> Look it up. I don't care. I'll keep talking because in this scene, um, we just see cars driving around for like <laughs> 10 minutes. Central America, just to let us know we're there. South America, wherever. Um, not to. I'm not saying whatever. They don't matter. Just I can't keep heads or tails if it's Central or South. And frankly, they probably said both because the guy was from <laughs> Italy and didn't give a shit. <laughs> clearly, because he called it egg and seed constantly. Um, oh, it turns out the movie's not even called Rhinestone. Oh, good. Way. It's just called Rhinestone. Oh, really? Yeah. It's about prostitute. <laughs> um, I'm really hung up on the prostitute thing tonight. <laughs> Bob Clark directed it. Director of uh, what's the fucking movie? Excuse me. Black Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah. Is Sylvester Stallone in it? He's definitely in it. <laughs> Does he? Have... Uh, <laughs> I can't believe this is what we're doing. Dolly Parton is a country singer stuck in a long, long-term long contract performing at the Rhinestone. Your idea is way better, dude. <laughs> so, Sloan's, Sloan's not even... He just he drives a, t- a taxi. Oh, I do know that movie. I think they did that on, like, How Did This Get Made or something. Wait, he doesn't even wear a Rhinestone jacket? This movie sucks. <laughs> All right, so Rhinestone Cowboy is about... <laughs> so I, I'm going to pitch it to him. He's riding high on Gardens of the Galaxy 2. Yep. Stallone. So I'm just going to be like, listen, man, let's throw it back. Bring back the 80s um, drama. The 80s <laughs> drama. I don't know why. I, I it won't. No one will care about it. <laughs> but that's what we're going to bring back. And you're a cowboy with a rhinestone suit that no one likes except you. <laughs> but you refuse to give it up. And you get kicked out of all your favorite country bars. <laughs> Uh, you know, I might just do that this weekend. Just wear a rhinestone suit around. Um, oh, so we meet our baddies in this next scene. We cut to South America. It's a lady and a guy um, on a yacht. The lady's like, I, they're 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 staying at a, they're staying at this hotel room. She has all their hotel room numbers. And this this one, the guy's like, I don't know. That guy in the middle looks like a cop. He's like, Oh, I know him. I know her. The guy in the middle, I don't know him, but he looks like a cop. Okay. Um, and he also reveals that he's ki- he was the one that killed these other people on the Mars mission. Yes. Which doesn't matter <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is this guy so male- malevolent? I don't know. And he's also the worst bad guy of all time. All of his plans are terrible. Uh, and fail, like not even just fail, but fail miserably. Remember at the end where they're like, it's you, alive. And he's like, yes, and you will live to see. He's like a <laughs> diabolical cartoon yeah. character. Remember when he's like, go kill that woman with an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and she just leaves the room. <laughs> and the egg never explodes. <laughs> um, fucking stupid. Um, oh, that scene's right now. <laughs> the, uh, the, our woman, Stella, is taking a shower. Um, they, they, there's like a meeting between Stella and the two guys and, um, they're both, they're both laying it on thick to Stella. They both clearly like her. It see it appears that she's leaning more towards the astronaut cause Tony's a f- kind of a fucking dope. Yep. Tony's definitely like a, a fucking idiot. Um, so they make this plan and she's like, all right, I gotta go take a shower. You guys leave. And both of them are like, uh, she wants you to leave. She's like, I want you both to leave, please. <laughs> so she takes a shower, but we see somebody sneak in and sneaks out really fast and locks the door. She gets out of the shower. She's locked in. And then all of a sudden she hears that singing and she looks down and there's a fucking egg in her bedroom. Bathroom. <laughs> um, which is like, at this, this is the point where I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a boring one because i was like the eggs don't do anything like (laughs) except sit there and explode like all she would have had to do is really like go under the shower curtain and like stay away from it they they don't like splatter everywhere like right or just break down the fucking door which she was strong enough to do but she doesn't she just sits there screaming and like clawing at the door um which leads to like one of my favorite scenes ever. Um, these two, the, the two idiot guys are like, 
now going to dinner. This is excruciatingly long, this scene of her like trying to get out, her trying to figure a way out of a bathroom, one door. <laughs> um, and then it cuts to like these guys who are like, well, it's dinner time. We better go. And then they like go by her door. Uh, and the, the baddie had left like a do not disturb sign on it. And as they're walking by, like Tony's about to like just burst in. <laughs> and he's like, hey, man, give her some fucking privacy. Paraphrasing here. <laughs> and uh, the guy's like, what do you mean? He's like, she's in the shower. Like, he doesn't say that. He's like, you don't know what she's doing in there. And they're like, okay, let's go to dinner. And it sounds faster than it is because the scene actually takes like 10 minutes. Yeah. And then they start walking and they're just talking and they're being like such misogynistic pieces of shit. Like their conversation as they're walking is like, huh, women, man, they don't make any fucking sense. And the other guy's like, tell me about it. And then he's like, then he's just like, wait, then he just stops and he's like, shower. And then he like turns back and he's like. I think I just thought of something. <laughs> and this is the astronaut who just yelled at Tony like so badly about going to this fucking woman's door. And she's like, he's like, I think we should go in there. Because he thinks there might be an egg in there. <laughs> Why would you think that? Because he, no, he was like, shower. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, <laughs> Which what? was insane. It was so insane. It was so, so fucking insane. But then the astronaut. You know like, how that guy listed all those things that the egg was? <laughs> yeah. I could literally list infinite amount of things that would be wrong in the shower aside from being a fucking falling egg. yeah <laughs> yeah anything and then the astronaut's like we should go in um and they do and they save her <laughs> it's very anticlimactic also if that guy was banging on that fucking door as hard as he was and i was in there with a poison egg i'd be like you need to stop and just remove the door handle yeah, <laughs> yeah. like don't make a f- because they don't react to noise. No. Why well, didn't she just yell for them in the first place? Well, she she kind of did for a little bit, but they were like so far away. Remember, dude, she was yelling for him, and the guy was like reading a newspaper with the music cranked up to like four hundred. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like <laughs> that's but, why the scene took so long. Like we skipped shit like that. But like, so but the only thing that makes the eggs explode is what temperature. But I I also think that they can be like. I mean, I guess they can't because. It, to me, it seemed like in the first scene, you could agitate that. Agitate. And, and like, explode. that's why I was like, don't hit the door. But why does that guy get to, like, move them? I don't know. And, like, later on, there's a shootout in a lab full of eggs. Yes. And nothing happened. None of the eggs explode. Like, oh. they are shoot, Dude, the glass around the eggs are exploding. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying, like, why couldn't she just walk by them? That's She definitely could have. Like, she could have done, like, a million things, but she doesn't. Um... So they save her. Boris and Natasha are bad guys, um, are Russian bad guys. They're sitting at dinner, and the guy, like, freaks out because he can feel the egg explode, like, inside of his brain. And he's like, oh, we lo-. he could tell that it died without a purpose. Yeah. It just didn't kill anyone in the process. And then he could also feel her all of a sudden. He's like, wait, I could feel her in my brain. <laughs> okay. Um, so then they go to the coffee factory, of course, naturally. Um, Tony and Stella go to the coffee factory and they send Dum Dum, the <laughs> astronaut, to an airplane. And they're like, f- I think they were sending him to like, oh, the egg plantation. <laughs> Did you hear her say that? Yes. The egg plantation? Are you fucking kidding? She's like, she's looking at a map and she's like, this is what the egg plantation is. First of all, again, how would you know that? Right. <laughs> Second, what the fuck's an egg What's an egg plantation? Because yeah. <laughs> those are two different things you're saying right now. Again, like the egg and the seed thing, like, you know they're different. I understand the confusion in the translation, but like Google Translate was not around. <laughs> Whatever. Um. So they go to this factory pretending to be like people, and they're just like, we really like your coffee. So can you show us around your factory? She's like, oh, well, of course. And the weird thing, though, is she knows that those people are who they are. Yeah. So she br- she allows them to come in. Um, but the the cop and Stella and Tony are the most un, un undercover people of all time. Like the first thing they say are like, huh, you know, we had your coffee off of the pretty lady ship. 
Like, first of all, that's a fucking freight liner. <laughs> you would never know where the coffee came from. Like, what shit? And they're like, ever hear of it? She's like, and the woman's like, uh, no, of course not. They're like, huh. All right. <laughs> and of course, the woman's like, even if the woman didn't know who they were, she's like, oh, right. oh, police officers. <laughs> Hello, you fucking idiots. Um, we see the astronaut. We cut to the astronaut who's like in his plane and he he's in the plane for like three seconds and it's already crashing. He's already lost control of it. And at first I thought he was just an incapable pilot, which just made me laugh so hard because he's like, whoa. <laughs> and the plane's just fucking shaking for fucking like it was like 10 minutes long yes. of like a plane shaking and this guy being like <laughs> it's going down um we'll later learn that that was somehow controlled by a cyclops <laughs> anyway so we cut back to the factory they're surrounded by guns um <laughs> and they see the bad guy and they're like, Hamilton, alive. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I'm here. Um, that, that was honestly not too far off from his reaction. His, his response is so funny. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bizarre. It's like, it's like, well, of course. <laughs> of course, silly. <laughs> Who else would bring eggs home from Mars, you stupid idiot? <laughs> Which he's right, because they were like, that woman knows only one guy survived from Mars, supposedly. And, like, before him surviving, there was only one other guy, like, alive. He was, like, those two were, like, the last two alive. So, yeah. like, <laughs> I mean, you can jump to the conclusion that eggs were brought back from Mars. It was, let's, like, come on. What the fuck are we talking about here? Um, the astronaut has crashed his plane, but perfectly safely. Right, <laughs> right side up. He's just, like confused <laughs> no no damage whatsoever to anything um and then you we, did you ever used to watch the uh this is so off topic, the angry video nerd oh it sounds super familiar you would just play all the old nes games to get like furious yeah 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 and this just reminded me of like <clears throat> he did a video on the power glove and like the power glove was the biggest piece of shit like it never oh. worked ever and then he did a video on the top gun game and you could not land. You just landed like you, you just explode every time. And like it was just him freaking out and be like, You fucking piece of shit. And he tries to land with while using the power glove and he lands perfectly. And like his face <laughs> is like Ian McC like could not believe like this is pure disbelief. It was perfect. <laughs> That's so funny. That's crazy. The power glove was so stupid. The biggest piece of shit. Dude, because all it was was a controller taped to your wrist. Yeah. So like <laughs> sucked. <laughs> Imagine just holding your controller to the side. And just, uh, so, um, yeah, Hamilton, our bad guy, Boris and, uh, Boris and Natasha, Natasha, he's got these two tied up now, Tony and uh, Stella. Those are good names for a couple. Um, but you don't think they're a couple at this point. Like, I kind of, like, wrote them off. I thought she was with the astronaut. I mean, you just don't care. <laughs> I guess that I was invested. Uh, and this guy starts laying it on so fucking thick to Stella. It's unbelievable. And he's like, you're the first woman. You're the first woman I went after that I couldn't get to first base with. First of all, I was a grown man. <laughs> first first <base. laughs> and then the woman apologizes. For, like, not giving it up. Dude, first base. <laughs> she goes, I'm sorry. And she's being 100% sincere. Like, I was like, wait a minute. I heard it. I wasn't watching. I was, like, writing notes. And I was like, I'm hoping she's, like, rolling her eyes as she says I'm sorry. <laughs> but I looked, and she was, like, tender in love. Like, I'm so sorry I didn't let you get past first base. <laughs> um, and then this guy goes on a rant. This guy, Tony, starts going on this rant again about something we don't even know. Where he's like, you know, I know I'm a little bit stupid. That must be why they can use ESP on me. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, that's that's why I get that weird itchy feeling in my brain. And I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? And sure enough, this guy has ESP and so does a Cyclops that we will soon see. <laughs> and this guy has figured out that there's an itching in his brain and it's ESP. <laughs> It like was why was that, that why was that not brought up before? Because no one knows except him, except the guy. 
Except the guy we were just introduced to five minutes ago, the bad guy, and like this guy who had an itch in his head and was just like, oh, know what that is. And then finally he was like, you know what? Yes, Pete. Based on nothing. <laughs> it was so fucking crazy. <laughs> At least you'd be like, oh my God, I think an egg is in my brain. <laughs> I mean, that ESP would be the last thing you think of. At this point, yeah, there's eggs blowing people up. Yes. You'd be like, oh my God, I'm exploding. And you would definitely tell somebody if your brain was <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so stupid. I felt an itching in my brain. Wow, that would suck. Um, but she finally gives him a kiss. And he says, it's the most fantastic thing that ever happened in my life. Just wait till he gets past first. <laughs> Dude, I mean, he's in, if that's the best thing that ever happened in your life, <laughs> you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Unless he's a eunuch. <laughs> then I guess... Maybe he is. Yeah. Well, the big bad guy comes in, our guy Hamilton, he comes in and he says, it's time to go meet the Cyclops. (laughs) But before we meet the Cyclops, our astronaut man is in the jungle. (laughs) This is when I was like, wait, is this movie like this movie was on such a hot track and then just like. Sean, that hot track ended so long ago. (laughs) But, like, they could have righted the ship. It's, like, as if, like, if you imagine, like, a train going and the track's going straight and then it just takes, like, this, like, turn on a cliff. and then But it just flies off and just sails in the air and now it's just plummeting to Earth. Because, like, you're just, like, why the fuck is this? So the astronaut's just, like, wandering through the jungle, like, after a plane crash. And it's, like, Ugh. And then he finds a dead guy on the ground. He's like, hey, buddy, what's wrong? <laughs> and the guy's like, white zombies. And you're like, not another element to this fucking... <laughs> why, I, I, why does he keep saying that? White zombies? Yeah. Well, because the guy's in the hazmat suits. They're wearing white hazmat suits. Right. <laughs> but, like, why... Eh, whatever. They were just trying to be clever. Because then... Because the astronaut's, like, walking around, and then we see the guys in the hazmat suits come into the jungle where they're harvesting... Egg seeds eggs, yeah. <laughs> that are so are they growing on these plants? Yeah, but eggs don't grow. Like, don't. Of course not. Or are they incubating them outside? It makes they have a fucking lab. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> so they are growing eggs and then bringing them inside to incubate. Yes. Okay, that's fucking dumb because they're <laughs> egg seeds. <laughs> if it's off a plant, it can't be an egg. I don't think. Great. Here comes somebody else coming get mad at me. <laughs> Actually, hey, that's called an. A seed egg, egg seed. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Ever heard of one? Use your brain. These guys don't even know. <laughs> uh, Google our sags. 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 <laughs> our egg seeds. seeds. Right. I mean, they're a type because it's fertilization, right? Mm. I mean, yeah. In, in Evidence a, is inconclusive. Yeah, it's not. They're not. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, and these aren't even eggs because they don't hatch anything. They just explode. Yeah, they just your blow brains. up. <laughs> yeah, there's the orbs, which is so weird because like later this guy's like, oh, like my fucking eggs or <laughs> I don't even know what is his end game. What is his game? Period. Nothing. Why is there a cyclops? <laughs> well, <laughs> wait. So the astronauts out there hazmat suits come in and he's like, huh, white zombies. Like, he understands it. He clobbers one over the head, steals his hazmat suit, gets in the van with him, and they come back to the place. So we know he's going to be the hero. <laughs> like, there's obviously, like, come on. Um, so, yeah, so he's on his way back. Um, sorry, I'm just reading my notes about, I, I wrote so many notes about this seed thing because I was, like, really irritated about <laughs> whether they were seeds or eggs. Um so the um, the bad guy Hamilton he starts revealing to he, he he starts revealing like the entire plan to him and this yeah, what's his plan well not his entire plan but like he's like oh don't worry about Hubbard the astronaut yeah he's like he's dead because I crushed his small plane which again you're terrible at plans because he's fine <laughs> the plan landed perfectly and. 
Wait, wait. Who's it? When he introduces the Cyclops, are you, are you getting there? Uh, this is where you're at right now, right? Yes. Yeah. He's, he's like, this is my master. I I raised him from a little seed. <laughs> he's my master who creates the egg. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, he grew out of a tiny seed that I brought back from Mars. <laughs> why would that be? Why would he not be that thing's master? He fucking raised it. <laughs> why is this? Why? Why is anything happening? So. <laughs> <laughs> also, why, like, if you found life on Mars and you raised it, why would you just, like, why wouldn't you do something about so it? So, I think, judging by the end of it, what I gathered, it's hard because they talk so much. They use so many <laughs> words to say the simplest thing. Like, this lady at the end goes on a monologue at the end, or maybe it was the astronaut, I forget. One of them goes on a monologue at the end that is, like, so long, and it's so simple. All she, all she had to say was, like, the the Cyclops controlled Hamilton, and Hamilton was always dead. Okay, but, that's what I thought too. But that still doesn't make sense. But why is Hamilton like? Back. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless this little baby scene. No, 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 no. <laughs> you were thinking way too hard about this because he brought it back. He should have already been dead. Correct. And so the thing right. can't control his mind. Right. Which, which it's doing now. Right. It's controlling his mind now. Right. But it didn't originally because it wasn't even a thing. <laughs> right. Right. He okay. grew it on her. He raised my it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. He, he starts telling. He goes. Um, and one of the things he says, again, like talking about his plan. Oh, and his plan was just to replace humans with green eggs. But that doesn't even make sense because, like, he says he's like, not. he's like, he creates the eggs and the heat develops them to maturity, but the heat kills them. The heat kills them. Yeah. They just fucking explode. Right. <laughs> and you get pissed when they explode. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> it makes no sense. And you were about to explode them all in a sewer or supposedly, I don't know. Why was, yeah. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Why would, why would that happen? <laughs> the monster though, I kind of liked the way it looked. Oh, really? For a Cyclops tree. <laughs> But it didn't even move, did it? No, it was just like... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even make that noise. <laughs> it just sang again. It, it was a singer, too. Yeah. Um, and he eats... The, the tree eats one of the cops. The tree eats Tony. Using ESP, it lures Tony into, <laughs> into its mouth. <laughs> it's the slowest fucking moving thing I've ever seen. Dude, to, it, it's honestly 15 minutes of Tony slowly walking up to it. At one point... I like they stopped cutting to Tony and I was like, oh, Tony got eaten. And I like wrote it in my notes. And then I looked up and Tony was just entering his mouth. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, but don't worry, because then the monster blows up. Yeah. Yeah. It's also the slowest fucking. The astronaut seen. comes. The astronaut turns into John Rambo yeah. and just starts shooting up the place. <laughs> um, he kills a bunch of dudes. He's using like this lady as like a meat curtain. Is that the right word? A meat curtain? <laughs> That's not the right word. That's not the right word. A roast beef flap? <laughs> That's not the word. Fuck. I meant like a meat shield. Like, is so, there a term for that? A human shield? A human shield? But I thought there was like a term for it with meat in it. Like a, a fucking meat curtain. <laughs> Fuck. Like, yeah, I thought it was like a meat. A meat magnet. I don't know. Like, it was like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It probably is. It's a human shield. It's a human <laughs> shield. No, meat curtain is clearly just me being an idiot. <laughs> he doesn't know what a skirt is. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have the time to bother to look up what a skirt steak was. <laughs> is that what it is? No. no what no. the fuck? I was like, that can't be real either. No, the skirt all steak's an actual cut of meat. <laughs> no, a skirt steak's a cut of meat. Ah. That's not like a, a tube steak or anything like that. Wait, a tube steak's not a real cut of meat? No, tube, I don't know if it is, but it's a dick. Oh, well. Tube steak. <laughs> Is that what the song's about? Yeah. Oh. Dude, every 80s song is about your dick or a giant. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Anything that's like... Brown-eyed girl. It's about your bowl. No, it's not. It might be. <laughs> that's like the most innocent song. 
<laughs> you, my bad idea. Yeah, it's about butt sex. <laughs> that would that would be bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> this got derailed so fast. Um, me, no, uh, human shield synonym. Meat curtains. <laughs> <laughs> My wife would be so mad if she found that on my search history. <laughs> Meat curtains. Um, so yeah, he's using the lady as a as a human shield. <laughs> um, he gets in there. He saves uh, Stella because Stella had just been ESP'd by the plant. And um, <laughs> all he does is, well, he hits Hamilton. Hamilton goes down. Or him and Hamilton are fighting. Um, and he just like, I don't even know. He just pops Hamilton. Hamilton's on the ground. And then he just shoots the plant in the eye. And that's it, man. <laughs> that is it. Hamilton stands up. Um, but he dies too. Because he's actually controlled by the plant. And then um, they say, we're safe now. We're finished. Can I ask you, did, did your end screen, was it the same as mine? What was it? It just said the end. I don't know. I didn't notice. It was the shittiest fucking font, and it was so abrupt. <laughs> it literally made me laugh out loud. <laughs> I don't know, but I was so focused in on... Because um, they did, like, the classic, like, movie thing where they're, like, outside the building talking. And, and it's, it's, it zooms on, like, a pile of garbage. Right, right. Well, no, not even that part yet. They're, like, standing outside, like, talking about the events that have just unfolded over the last... I don't even know how long, month. <laughs> uh, and, like, she's talking to... The astronaut. Yeah. And they're talking about it. And she's being treated by like like a medical, a medical, uh, med- military medic. <laughs> med- <laughs> Fuck. No, fucking stoner. Um, and she's being treated by a medic. And um, as she's talking to him, they're like, they're, they're talking about the day. And they're like, yeah, like he took control of Hamilton and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden the medic just chimes in and is like, oh, and that's why they died at the same time. <laughs> Like, you weren't there. Like, how how annoyed would you be if you saved the Very. world? You saved the world, and the medic's like, acts like he's in on it. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, actually. <laughs> what do you mean, motherfucker? Where the fuck have you been? Could have used your help. <laughs> Stupid dickhead. Although we didn't tell anyone. This is definitely off the records. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Um, and then, like Joe said, uh, we zoom into a trash bag in New York City, and there's an egg. Of course there is. Which would have done nothing except explode and not hurt anyone. <laughs> Unless somebody's face was like, hmm. <laughs> Licking it. What were we just talking about About staring into? Huh? Look. We were just now? No. It was like in the last few weeks. We were talking about one of our friends like looking into something. And it would be like the equivalent to looking into a barrel of a gun. <laughs> Fuck, it might have even been on the show. I can't remember. I but they like, lo- <laughs> I don't know. Um <laughs> But yeah, we see the egg and it plays the song. That's the end of um, Contamination. Yeah. I'm happy to have watched it. I guess. I don't know, man. The, honestly, the cult challenge, I'm caught up now. I just love watching these movies, man. It, it's like, honestly, if I didn't, we wouldn't be doing the show. No. I, I'd be miserable. I agree. Because I've said before, being miserable is when I'm my most <laughs> happiest. And like, I will gladly watch a movie like this. <laughs> I won't be happy I watch it at the end. Yeah. But like, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like, like, I just like kind of enjoyed myself. Like, I was just like, wow, it was terrible. Yeah, this is our lives now. <laughs> <laughs> but I I do enjoy like I genuinely like enjoy finding this like I just watched what was that movie I fucking watched it was like the curse of the swamp creature it was straight up one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life which makes me want to watch it right and I know and I felt bad after I told you because I was like oh I'm just gonna watch this and it is almost unwatchable <laughs> like very close to unwatchable it's so bad um, and of course like I have a list of like for that week I had a list of like two dozen movies that I could have chosen from. And I saw that cover, which I showed you the cover and you were like, of course it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the one I chose based on the cover. <laughs> so I don't know, but uh contamination. And you watched uh, Pontypool, right? Yeah. You liked it. We talked about this, right? Yeah, we? You know, we kind of just briefly talked about this it. Is, that was his other, this pick. Is his other pick. Yeah. So we might as well just hash it out here. So <laughs> I do like Pontypool. I've seen people be like, I've seen both sides where, 
honestly, it seems like it's a really polarizing movie, but I think it's really, honestly, it's kind of one of those elements where like the people that like Pawnee pool are like, this is the greatest zombie film, most original zombie film to ever be created, which is insane. (laughs) Okay. It's just fucking stupid. It's not like that. I mean, can you even call it a zombie film? Barely even see anything. Oh Wolf yeah, they're zombies. Jack. They're definitely zombies. I mean, the guy, the people inside the studio, like they're definitely fucking. They're fucking bloody and shit. It's like one person, two, the kid, <laughs> two. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but I I genuinely enjoyed it. I think it's great. I think it's like a good. Like I always say, like I'll be like, it's a good kids movie, and I don't mean like for children. I just mean it's like if I were young. Being introduced to my first horror movies, I would have fucking loved the shit out of that movie. I would have been really? Like, yeah, it would have melted my brain because it would. I would have felt like it was like a little bit more advanced than just like hack and slash, which I did love as a kid. Obviously, I liked Rumpelstiltskin, but I also like when you watched those like, like not The Exorcist. I wasn't that big of a fan of that when I was a kid, but like I I liked it. But like when I saw something like fucking stand, oh, not Stand by Me. The one with fucking John Goodman and Denzel Washington, Fallen. Fallen, yeah, great but, movie. Right, I loved it when I was a yeah. kid. I don't know how it is now, but like when I was a kid, like I felt like more mature watching that because it was like horror, but it was smart. And like I feel like I would have felt the same way with this. Like I would have been like, "That's really intelligent," because kids are stupid. That's true. I I don't I don't have a problem. With it. Yeah, yeah. Kiss equals uh, that is my least favorite <laughs> fucking thing of all time if you haven't hey, hey, let's watched just Bonnie Pool, don't don't listen to this just skip skip to the end because uh y- hey, let's just forget this word you've used your entire life and you'll be saved yeah which is honestly impossible that's impossible forget a yeah, word so hard the concept of kill? it is like insane <laughs> the fuck are you talking about the concept is really cool to use an affected word yeah, I agree. But to you, forget, <laughs> no, I'm getting so they far needed now. to come to a different ending. Like they should have, like, like we we talk about sometimes. Like sometimes it's really bad when you don't explain what's happening. Like when you just leave it. Like you're like, what the fuck is happening? But sometimes poop is C. <laughs> poo poo equals pee pee. <laughs> uh, sometimes, like not going into the details is better, right? Like, I feel like the infected word is great, but once you start trying to, like, over-explain it or, like, figure out how to fix it, you're going to fuck fuck it up. Yeah. And that's kind of what happened in that scene to me. Like, and especially his voice was so stupid <laughs> in that radio voice. <laughs> Dude, all you can think of is poopy. Imagine, imagine someone's robbing you and you're like, broke is rich. And they're just like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I don't need the money anymore. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> anyway, I, I do. I like it. I like it. When did, was that the first time you saw it or no? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I heard great things about it. Yeah. Well, people that love it, like, suck its dick. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> suck it right through a hose. <laughs> yep, right through a hose. <laughs> Fucking semen. <laughs> great episode of South Park. I've been on a South Park kick lately. All right, let's end this episode. Um... Next week, Plan 9 from Outer Space. I watched Plan 8. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, Paul. <laughs> hey, Paul. How you fucking doing? Um, and uh, that was chosen by, oh, homie Katie. Katie Brown. The, nice. the skater girl. Yeah. yeah. She's a literal skater. I, I don't know why that fascinates me, but she rides roller skates. <laughs> it's, okay. It's interesting. Sure. No, no, I'm agreeing. I'm not being a jerk. I'm like, yeah, I get <laughs> no, I mean, no, he, fuck you, Katie. <laughs> he's not being a jerk to Katie. He's like looking at me like, yeah, no, I, I heard, I've heard you the first <laughs> seven times you just told me that. <laughs> Said the same thing over and over again. Joe is the guy on the message board. That <laughs> 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 hates me. Um, all right, guys. So that's the end of this episode. Um, Plan Nine from Outer Space next week. Watch that. It's available literally everywhere. Do you watch colorized or black and white? Do you think I'm a fucking asshole? <laughs>
the fuck would I watch it colorized? <laughs> that's funny you said that because that's the first thing on my like notes for next week's episode is to ask what you watched it in. If you watch this colorized, you're you're an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Did you, I watch, agree. Did you watch it colorized? No, I, I I watched parts of it colorized after. The idea of colorization is just bizarre to me. It's really fucking bizarre. I mean, they go through and paint the fucking things. I think, right? Oh, I have no clue how it works. All right. I think that's what they do. I think they frame by frame, like, fucking paint. That can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look that up. <laughs> All right. Well, Joe looks that up. I'll end the show. Um, <laughs> uh, just a few things. Uh, SalemHorror.com uh, live show, October 14th. We're introdu- We're going to be doing a live show. If Joe's there, it's going to be a live show, um, like a full show. Dude, dude you're fucking right. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. You have someone has to work on the movie frame by frame, adding the. Co- Why would anybody colorize a movie? Yeah, so that means it's also not accurate. Like it's their best effort at color. Yeah, that's a great effort. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, I mean it's it looks like crazy, but it's also very w- odd. <laughs> what? what? How much? How much money would you have to get paid? You to know, do that? I f- I forget what year they did that, but there was um. I think it was like late 90s, early 2000s, where every movie they tried to colorize, like they colorized every fucking movie. Like it was like this weird thing. Frame by frame. Yeah. Like think about how many frames are in it. <laughs> well, well, how many frames per second? 24 frames per second. A second, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly pissing me off. <laughs> I'm trying to do the math. These guys Ex- don't even know Ex- math. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting uh, podcasting here. <laughs> Times. 20. Uh, 129,600. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. Boring. And they're so fucking small. And you have to make sure like each <laughs> pant is the same color. Right. Ugh. Nightmare. Oh, such me, a nightmare. Give me anxiety. <laughs> um... All right, uh, so SalemHorror.com for tickets to our live show um, in Salem, October 14th. It's a Saturday. If Joe's there, we'll be doing a full episode. I hope there are people in the fucking place when we do it. That would be wonderful. If it's like two people, I know two fans that are coming. Oh, yeah? Yes. Who? They messaged me. Um, No one that we know. Okay. (laughs) They just messaged me, and they were like, hey, man, I'm coming. I was like, fuck, that's awesome. I'm going to be really embarrassed when it's just you sitting there and us talking. You might, I mean, you might as well just join the show at that point. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, uh, tickets are on sale. Um, we go on, uh, I think, like an hour before. If Joe's not there, it's probably going to be cut down a little bit. And, um, and then afterwards, for the same price, $20, you get the podcast, you get Halloween 3, and you get Videodrome. Oh shit! What a night! I'll be asleep. What a night! <laughs> what a night! Oh, what a night! Another song about butt sex. Another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so SalemHorror dot com for tickets. Please come join us. Please fly from wherever you live and join us because we only have like, dude. I sold two shirts in Connecticut. Oh, yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> Speaking of shirts, they're still on sale. Store.ihatehorror.com. Limited stock. We're out of small. Um, by the time you read this, we might be out of a couple other sizes. So go over there. Check it out. Um, we got the hats. We got a few hats still. Um, the hats are in a bundle with the shirt and pin set with the Patreon pin with the exclusive mangler button. And there's a little donation to Joe built into that, too. So it's a little bit pricier, but... It's all going to Joe's baby, man. Jesus Christ. How many times do I have to say it? Get through thick skulls. Uh, Patreon.com slash I hate horror. If you want to donate monetarily, uh, it's a monthly donation service. It really helps us out. We appreciate everyone that does it. We thank you so much. Um, I'm going to start reading spooky stories, I think, this week (laughs) to just do something for you guys. Um, And they also just launched, Patreon just launched um, a live streaming service. Um, it's not like the hangouts that we used to do, but it would be a lot easier to do than the hangouts. Cause those were always like a fucking nightmare for me to set up. They're, they're so involved to set up and exhausting. Yeah. Um, and this is literally just 
we broadcast. So I'm hoping to do actually more of those. Um, and we could do like polls and stuff like that. Um, they just, I don't even know if it's out yet, but they're launching it soon. Um, so I'm going to try and set one of those up. Um, even if it's just me or me and Joe before we record, we'll try and start doing those more often now for you guys. Um, and then what else do we have? Anything else to promote the store? Oh, uh, survey. Guys, survey I hate survey I hate horror.com. Um, there's gonna be a link in the description. Please go to that. It really helps us out. It's five to seven questions. I keep saying five because one of our fans said it, but I counted it was seven. Seven question survey. Um and it helps us get advertising. We're gonna be um, we're trying to get some advertisers, and it's really just to figure out who listens to the show. So if you fill it out, uh, odds are you'll hear an advertisement that you don't hate. Hopefully, and that's it, man. Um, thanks to Harley Poe for allowing us to use his song for the intro. Um, you can find me on what the fuck was it? You can find me on Twitter at I Hate Horror Show, Instagram and Snapchat at I Hate Horror. I'm at Joe V four two one, uh, Boognish nineteen eighty five, and Horror Show Joe. That's a wrap, guys. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate the support. It is crazy. Like fuck, fuck. It is crazy. So thank you all so much. It means so much to us. Like we genuinely love you all. Like it, we really appreciate it. So thank you. Um, and I say usually say something. Stay weird. Or er, for Joe, <laughs> this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Adios.